So the weather this morning is quite terrible. Um, heavy rain, strong winds, thick cloud. Um, but I don't know, in a place like Glencoe, that can quite often add to the atmosphere and the mood of the entire place. Um, so I'm just having to drive around, waiting to see if anything happens, because I know the forecast is set to be sunshine and showers. So if the sun does break through, then we're going to get some fantastic conditions. Um, but at the moment, as it stands, it's three minutes after sunrise. It's still completely white sky. So I'm just making a brew and then I'm going to see what to do next. I might just leave it for a couple of hours and see if the weather improves a bit and try again. I have something to say. Something I'm not proud of, but I need to share it with you. Last night, me and Charlotte didn't stay in the van. I know, look, hey, I love the van. I could stay in this thing forever. But, you know, I'm not a monster. We hadn't showered for four days. The leisure battery was running low. It's not stopped raining since we crossed the border into Scotland. The dog's wet. That means the van's wet. So, I got us a hotel. Now, I know some of you may be thinking, what are you doing? You've got a, you've got a luxurious camper van and you, you're in one of the world's most beautiful countries and you're staying in a hotel. Well, yeah, no, I kind of agree. But you come come into Scotland with a camper van when it's raining 24 hours a day with a very, very fluffy, hairy dog who needs walking three times a day and soon you will begin to realise that wet weather, dogs and camper vans do not go. But it was lovely to have a hot shower and a nice big bed. Actually, that's not fair. This van has two big beds, so I'm, I'm being unkind about the van. But anyway, just in case someone spotted me in the hotel and they think I'm a fraud, I am a fraud and I'm ashamed of it. Right, well, it's still raining, so I'm gonna finish my coffee and make a decision about what to do next. Tell you what, I could get used to this. Got the awning up, got the coffee on the go. It's raining, I'm not even getting wet. Even if I don't get a good photograph, this is still totally worth doing. A cup of coffee in the great outdoors and the comfort of this luxury camper van. <sighs> So with landscape photography, there's, there are different types of images, different types of photography. So you get the glorious sunrise, sunset images, white beaches, blue seas, that kind of thing. And they look lovely on your wall or in, I don't know, in a hairdresser's or something like that. And then you get the other side of landscape photography, perhaps the more artistic side, where you may want to try and capture the atmosphere of a place rather than rather than trying to catch light and make a beautiful picturesque image instead you want to capture how it feels in the moment does that make sense so what you end up with is not necessarily the best looking image but you do end up with an image with feeling and that is exactly what i'm doing here i'm in a camper van just off the main road i've got the awning up so i'm very restricted with my movements However, I've picked this spot for a reason because there is a stunning view just over there and my composition is beautifully simple. I mean, there's, there's nothing to it. There is a river that just meanders through the foreground and leads you to these big mountains with a huge valley in the middle. I mean, there's nothing in the image really. It's almost empty space. But what we do have is a lot of weather and mood and atmosphere and I think when you look at the image you may you may well get a sense of the feeling that the photographer had or well that I have which is cold and wet although the truth is I'm not I'm actually quite comfortable um, but you get what I'm saying so uh, the the clouds are starting to break a little bit the the light is changing so I'm just gonna stay here for a bit I'm only working on this one composition 
and I'm just going to see what happens with it and see if we're lucky enough to get any light. So my persistence has paid off. We're getting some lovely light now. It's not direct sunlight. It's more of an ambient glow from the bright sky behind me. But it's illuminating this foreground just magically. So what was, in my opinion, a nice image anyway, is now even better because we've got some lovely warm light on the golden foreground. Yet we've still got that dark moody rainy background so by waiting here for 45 minutes in the pouring rain with what looked like no hope at all has suddenly transformed into a wonderfully moody yet beautiful image On my way home, I remembered about a location that a gentleman called Paul um, pointed out. He emailed me and we got into a conversation about Scotland and he mentioned this place and it's called the Devil's Pulpit. And I can see why. It's absolutely treacherous and it was very, very dangerous coming down here. But my God, it is absolutely stunning. I mean, it's chucking it down with rain, obviously, but this is just something else what a location you got this amazing i think it's sandstone and i think it's been weathered away and it's um it makes the water bright red which i guess is where the name comes from i'm not sure but the river looks like it's a river of blood and it's contrasted by these vibrant greens and autumnal oranges it's absolutely stunning so i'm going to have a bit of a walk around and see if i can get a composition Although it might be tricky because it's absolutely chucking it down. So as you can see, I'm now precariously balanced on a very wet slippy log in the middle of the river and that is because it offers the best composition now this isn't day it's not dangerous it's not if i fall that way it's dangerous but if i fall this way i'm fine um it by far offers the best composition now this image isn't going to be perfect because the polarizer is wet okay it just is but any soft spots i can get rid of in photoshop but compositionally the Red River, the leading swooping line to the area of interest, which at first is the fallen tree, and it continues through to the gorge, and it just looks absolutely phenomenal. The colours, the colours are something else. The colours don't even look real. This is, uh, this is just amazing. I wish, I wish, I wish I had longer here. I wish it wasn't full-on torrential rain. 
And that's it. I'm here at the right time of year. I'm just here at the wrong time of day, I suppose. <sighs> Which is a shame. But I'm quite confident that this image is absolutely spot on for the conditions I'm working with. I really think it's now time for me to leave and definitely go home. So once again, thank you for watching.